Uh, the a phone call that I'm promised by the Constitution, I will not be entitled any kind of legal representation. I was told that nothing that I could do other than go be put in a jail cell until until I was arraigned. That, that's what I was told. That's crazy. If I doesn't, if I don't take the inoculation or whatever you want to call it, that I do not get my rights afforded to me, and I'm going to spend my court date is now July 11. I will spend that time in jail until I take this shot, forced shot that's what that you cannot you. opt out. So, you cannot opt so just, out. Just, just to break everybody so, so back. Again, to, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Let me, let me just finish doing this interview, and then you guys can do what yeah, you want. Ahead, just to break down the full story, you were walking here, you were arrested. For blocking, uh, you know, uh, what was the official charge they charged? Three you charges, with? three misdemeanor charges. One will be, I impeded a vehicle. I was told to get out and from in front. This is the officer's statement. I was told to move from away from the vehicle. I turned around, did not comply with them, so they had to come out and grab me. Then I resisted arrest, supposedly, even though other, every other angle of the camera shows that there was no resisting whatsoever. They dropped that down to disorderly conduct. And then on top of that, I was drunk in public. As they're dragging me away, they're, oh my God, yelling, this guy's intoxicated, trying to get the crowd all hyped up like I was out. When I get to the station, we're right across from the breathalyzer machine. I not only request, I demand that I take a breathalyzer. Can you shoot them down over there, make sure they don't point the bullhorns here? This is a very important story.